Hi. Today, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate a liquid fill pressure gauge that's wandered off the zero PSI resting position. First, we should probably talk about why it's no longer reading zero PSI. During shipping, the gauge may have experienced a temperature or altitude change which caused internal pressure to build. It's unlikely that any permanent damage was done to the gauge, and this fix should get your gauge back to its factory level accuracy. Most liquid fill gauges have a rubber stopper or some other way to keep the liquid filling in place. Some have a brass pin in addition to the stopper. And some have a closed pressure release tube. Although each has a different kind of fill cap, the key to resetting the gauge is the same for each. Uh, equalizing the pressure by venting that cap. Take this first gauge. All you have to do is fit a fingernail under the cap to release the pressure and the pointer quickly returns to normal. No muss, no fuss. You can actually use this process with any of the gauges. A little bit of glycerin has escaped, but don't worry. The glycerin in DuraChoice gauges is food grade and completely non-toxic. Just wipe it off so that you don't collect any dust or debris on the gauge. This one has a brass pin to make venting easier. Pull the pin and release the pressure. This gauge has a small pressure relief tube at the top. To correct its pressure and balance, we're going to snip the tip off the tube to open it up. That process makes future venting unnecessary because the small hole keeps the internal pressure from building. Gauges should be installed vertically if at all possible, especially designed with the pressure relief tube at the top. That'll help prevent glycerin leak but also make it easier to vent the gauge in the future if the need arises. That said, it isn't likely you're going to have to do this again. In areas where major temperature shifts occur, internal pressure may build, making it necessary, but that's not often the case. To see our full line of liquid gauges, visit us at directmaterial.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out our blog for more useful information on all the products that we sell.